Hey everybody, this is Lucas and today I'm going to show you a real quick tutorial on how to set up your email signature for our district email accounts. The process is pretty straightforward uh, and in this email you should have a link to this video and a link to a Google Doc that has a template. And really all we're going to do is copy and paste that into our uh, Gmail signature. So if you know how to do that, then go right ahead. But if you'd like some step-by-step -step instructions on how to customize it just a bit, uh, watch this video and I'll show you how. So right now I've got up on my screen uh, my Google Doc template and I'm just going to come in and edit it. Um, so I'm going to replace your name with my name here and my title. Now, if you're at a, a particular school or whatever, feel free to go in and make those adjustments as well um, to reflect your school, your school's address, phone number, etc. And then uh, I'll go ahead and point out a couple other things. The SES homepage link has been updated to reflect the address of our new website. Um, so no changes that you should need to make there. And the Facebook link is fine, um, but you'll also want to customize your Twitter handle. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, you're just going to come in and type uh, your Twitter handle, leave the at symbol like this. And then what I'm going to do, because I like people to be able to click that and be able to get to my Twitter account and be able to follow me. Um, so we want to make that as easy as possible. So once I've done that, I'm going to highlight it. And then in Google Docs, I'm going to come up and click the little chain link. That allows me to add a link to uh, my Twitter account. And so I'm going to type in the address of my Twitter account. Now everybody's Twitter account follows the same pattern. It's www.twitter.com forward slash and then whatever your handle is. So in my case it would be www.twitter.com forward slash Lucas Gillespie. And uh, then I'm going to click apply. Okay, so now we're ready. Uh, we've, we've made the adjustments to our um, signature. Now we're ready to put it into Google Docs, or not Google Docs, or into our Gmail uh, signature. Okay, so what I'm going to do is highlight that. Now, when you highlight this, you want to make sure that you start from outside the box. If you look really closely, there's a table there, and that's how we're kind of keeping that formatted nice and neat. So you want to start from outside that table and then drag a block box until it, everything turns blue. And then I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to use my keyboard shortcuts, control C to copy and control V to paste, but you copy and paste that however you feel most comfortable. So once I've done that, I'm then going to go back to my email account and I'm going to click the gear in the upper right corner that says settings and I'm going to come down to settings. And once that's loaded up, I'm on the general tab. So you see we have several different things here, but you want to stay on that general tab and scroll down to the bottom until you see the signature box. Now, mine's already got it in here, so I'm just going to delete that out to show you. Now, I'm going to paste it in. For me, I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Control V, paste that in. I want to make sure everything looks right, like it's formatted like I want it. Um, that looks fine. Uh, so then I'm going to come down here and click Save Changes. And at this point, I recommend sending yourself an email. Um, send yourself an email and tell how awesome you think you look today and what a great educator you are. And double check to verify that that signature works properly and that the links work, uh, work correctly. And if they don't, um, go back and make some edits and then follow the process over again. If you get stuck on anything or you have any questions, uh, you know how to find me. Shoot me an email, tweet me, text me, call me, whatever. And I'll be glad to help you out. Have a great day.